All right, so now we're gonna do some stretching from seated, from on the floor. We're gonna do some down stretching, and some of it I'm gonna start off basically the same as before, so you know that this can also be done seated. Some of these stretches you see me doing, these movements you see me doing, I didn't do this one in my last video though. This is a good one. Yes, and this is a good one. Yes. But you've seen these in the other uh, videos. You can do your shoulder rotations. You can do, you can do these movements from the floor. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover just a few of our stretches that were shown in my previous video. So if you're sitting down on the floor, you don't have to neglect these particular stretches. You can still cover them even while seated on your floor or even in a chair, which I will also do a video for. Okay, I'm still doing elbow rotations. Okay, still possible to do from seated. And you don't have to have your legs folded. You can put your legs out in front of you, spread them if you need to. Be as comfortable as you like to do what you need to do, okay? So all of this still, hey, you can still do it. Here's one for you. Oh, I suck at this one. Uh, one I probably didn't do in the last video. So I just, uh, that one was better than the other one. Again, I harbor a lot of tension upper body. So what did I miss? What did I miss? Giving myself a hug. Cause you need to hug yourself in these times. Yep, you can do this seated, guys. Same thing, you're going to see a lot of, and I'm going through it, kind of just kind of going through it, kind of going through it quickly. Um, oh, let's see, what else? What else do we do with our arms? Help me out, help me out, help me out. I know I did this already, but this be feeling so good to me. And I didn't do it this way, though. Ah, aha. Aha! Uh -huh. That was, you know, a couple of them you might see me adding in that I didn't do in the last video. Shake, shake, shake your hands. Weeble your wobbles away. You can still do this for your elbow rotations while you're down. So I'm just like having a little fun with it right now. Just kind of showing you that, hey, you can be down and you can still do your upper body. You know what's cool? You can still roll those hips. Oh, yeah. Still rolling those hips. And I'm like, ah, this is one of my favorites. I could do it all day. But I'm not going to. Because I got to move through this as quickly as possible. So you guys can see that stretching effort. I just want you to see the movements that you can make. Get your spinal twist on. Get your spinal twist on. Get it, get it, get it. Get your forward fold into clam. And if your legs are folded, at some point you need to switch so you can feel the difference on that one side versus the other. Oh, I feel it in this knee right here. Boy, I tell you what. All right, let's see. Let's get some leg work going here. So I'll go with some butterfly stretch going on here. Either stationary or with a little bit of movement. Pulling forward. Opening up the feet. Turn it into a diamond. Lay into it. Oh, Ooh, I tried to show off for the video. No, no. Not working. Touch the toes. Touch the toes. Hug a knee while you're hugging that knee. You might as well do another spinal twist. Go ahead, do that spinal twist. Might as well let that leg drop. Do the hurdle stretch. Hurdle stretch. Ooh. Ooh. Switch. This video could be pretty extensive, guys. Could be pretty extensive, but it's necessary. It's important, and I just wanted to share with you some of the stretches that you can do from down position. 
So when you see the video, just kind of emulate, imitate, duplicate, copy any particular stretches that work for you. There's the V stretch. Okay, same thing I did before, but now I'm going forward and back, forward and back. Same thing I did before, but now I'm going from side to side, side to side, a little bit wider even, and then you can reach for one leg. Yes, part of my body is going out of frame. It's okay, you get the gist of what I'm doing. Probably you've done it many times yourself. And if not, you can embark upon this, in this endeavor as we go through ah, ah, hugging my knees hugging my knees cooking in a ball yes while I think of other stretches that I haven't done uh, just for the sake of this video so that you guys can see some down stretches Ooh, let's see what else yes you can still do ankle rotations. All right, one foot at a time. You can still do that. You can still heel toe tap. Okay. And again, your count, it depends on how much time you have and what exactly you're doing uh, as far as for your stretching is concerned. And um, that's basically enough just to give you a gist in this video. Um, I mean, the list goes on. There's some from the back. Um, you can lay back and do it from laying on your back. There's a lot of stretches and postures and poses that you can work on to keep your body limber and loose and ergonomical and workable. And blood flow circulation all on fleek. <laughs> fleek. Anyway, remember guys, stretch every day, make it a part of your day, part of your routine, embrace it, enjoy it, love it, don't think anything of it, and see the results. Ah!